bridge exactly like this one. The Brent Spence Bridge has a problem many who use it every day can relate to. It's overworked and underfunded. It's not going to walk off the job anytime soon, but it is crying out for help. That's why it's brought together two sides. Once again, this time, both sides of the aisle. Kentucky Democratic Governor Andy Bashir and Ohio Republican Governor Mike DeWine for a chance like no other. This is really a, an unprecedented opportunity uh, in history. So with today's signing, the Commonwealth of Kentucky and the state of Ohio are aligning our efforts to make this project a reality. Both governors signed a memorandum of understanding. It basically puts both states on the same page to get federal infrastructure funds for a companion bridge to the Brent Spence. Insiders say the importance of the agreement can't be understated. Everybody knows there's money at the federal government for projects like this, but we're not going to get a penny of it unless there's days like this where the two states show that they're working together. Few are pulling for federal funds to come through like those who have to drive the bridge on a regular basis. It would be nice to see a change. It would. It really would. They've talked about it for years, so hopefully right this right. time, maybe. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Signing means they're ready to apply for infrastructure money so they can cross that bridge when they get there. Yeah, now the application process for the federal government for that federal infrastructure money isn't open yet, but they hope to have that process completed by this fall. And both governors say they hope to break ground on this project by next year sometime. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick. WLWT News.